Okay, I am delighted to be here to speak to scholars, young and old and new, from over 190 countries. I want to talk to you about something which I hope will be most useful to all of you. Now, just about everybody is trying to create new databases. And I have experience with that that goes way back because I began my data database in 1984 and I published it in the year 2000. It is a high quality database which I, a, a team of my colleagues and I are expanding now. Let me talk about what a high quality database is because such databases are far from common. Most of them are much too small, limited in scope, and can only answer questions their creators have posed in advance. But to my mind, the, the larger the scope of a database is, the better. And quality databases can only be created by a team of scholars collaborating effectively. Sources should be entered within each record, and the coding scheme must retain maximum flexibility. String variables must be assigned to capture the exact terms and phrasing of documents, regardless of language. An alphanumeric comments field must allow for context and for capturing new variables built up from regularly repeated information as the documents are studied in depth and over time. The database must be able to enter be entered into a quality program to make sophisticated calculations, and it must be made easily available for study and comparative research by the wide world of international scholars, regardless of their language. I know this is a tall order. It can only work with important, high-quality, informative documents with comparable information. So the first step is to find such a collection of documents. The next step is to maintain flexibility in the coding scheme, allowing for new variables and new data inputs as the need arises. I conclude that maintaining flexibility to make changes in database design and to make corrections in data entry is most essential. Database designs cannot be divorced from the process of research. Early database design does not produce a finished product. It involves, as the scholar becomes more familiar with the documents, with the data, and with new questions as they arise. Answers, tentative answers, and partial answers lead to new questions. Additional fields are entered and recoded during and even after the data entry, entry process has been completed. I know this is difficult, 
but this is the direction we scholars of the digital age must go. As we quickly learn that we can turn what we thought we knew before on its head. I hope this brief but condensed discussion of what a quality database is will be helpful to my fellow scholars and aspirant scholars throughout the world. I thank you for inviting me to address so many of my fellow scholars, young and old, throughout the world.